I want you to be So I'll keep walking by faith For I know you'll make a way You're my landlord, Jesus And I trust you every day Yes, I do I want to say, Lord You're the landlord And there's a leak in your building Yeah I want you to fix it, fix it, like you said you would. Somebody sick, feel like they can't get well. There's a leak in your bill. Somebody sick, Lord, feel like they can't get well. There's a leak in your bill. Somebody sick, Jesus. Feel like they can't get well. There's a leak in your building. I want you to fix it, fix it like you said you would. Lord, you're the landlord, and there's a leak in your building. Yeah, Lord, you're the landlord. In your building, I want to say, Lord, you're the landlord, and there's a leak in your building. I want you to fix it, fix it, like you said you would, because I can't fix it. Jesus, I can't fix it. Lord, you're my landlord, Jesus, you're my landlord, you're my landlord, I want you to fix it, fix it, I want you to fix it, fix it, you promised you did. To fix it, fix it like you said you would. Fix it, Jesus. Yeah. Fix it, Jesus. Yeah. Come on, somebody say, Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Oh, yes, sir. Like you said you would. How many know God will fix it? Come on, I said, how many know that God will fix it? Just like he said that he would. Come on, give the choir a hand today. Say, sing the songs of Zion. Oh, yeah. Amen. You see, you ought to sing it like you know what you're singing yeah. about. Can I say that again? You ought to sing it yeah. like you know what you're singing right. about. And, and 
no, wait, I know that there's some, I can look over and see these folks apps in the day. I don't know why they apps in the day, but you know what? Somebody here needs Jesus oh, to yeah. fix it. And ain't worried about what nobody else is doing. Ain't concerned about where anybody else is. You just telling the Lord, here I am. Would you please fix it? You the landlord. Come on, he a good landlord, ain't he? I know some bad landlords, but he a good landlord. And he will fix it. Whatever you need. Whatever your problem is. Whatever you're going through. He will fix it. I said, he will fix it. He will fix it. Come on, Liddy. I know you know he can fix it. Come on, y'all, one more time. Come on, give it to us one more time, because he'll fix it. You celebrating your birthday. You ought to sing that like you knew he will fix it. I want you to fix it. I want you to fix it. You told me you fixed it. You promised you fixed it. I know that you fixed it. I can't fix it. I can't fix it. I want you to be there. I know that you'll be there. You promised you'd be there. I know that you'll be there. I want you to be there. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Come on, praise the Lord, somebody. He's worthy. Hallelujah. I know Vivian knows he's worthy. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Praise God. Amen. For the choir, praise God. For my wife, praise God. For all of y'all. Oh, yeah. uh, y'all don't mind me saying y'all, do y'all? <laughs> all of y'all, thank God for you on today. Amen. Everybody got a little bit of country oh, yeah. in them. Amen. Hallelujah. It ain't Alabama, but it's there, whatever it is. <laughs> praise God. We thank God for you. We thank God for all of you who make up this great cloud of witnesses on this first Sunday in October, and we certainly give God the praise oh, yes. for everything that he has done. Amen. You know, we thank God for just keeping us, and sometimes I think that the, the, the devil is doing all he can to turn us around, yes. discourage us. Amen. But you know, when you're around other folks in Christ that know what God can do, Amen. I said, know what God can do, huh? And I believe there's some folks in here that know what God can do. Amen. Who know what? Who knew what the day was going to turn out to be? But I thank God that I'm able to say that I've come to praise the Lord this morning. Amen. Hey, this might be my last time. Amen. See, we come to church acting like we're going to be here next week. You don't know if you're going to be here All next right. week. You better give God the praise while you got chance to give God the praise. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So many wonderful things about Jesus, and we're just so glad to be in the presence of his grace and mercy one more time. Thank you, Mass Choir. Time for our tithes and our offerings, tithes and our offerings, and we 
Um, thank God, glad to see the Bonners are back with us this week. Amen. Yeah. It was gone. I'm glad to see them. Amen. They took a break from us. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they back. They back. Jeff, um, yeah, we good to see you too, Jeff. Amen. <laughs> We figured you might be taking a break last week. You were scared, man. <laughs> but we are grateful unto God. Amen, amen. Tithes and offering. Lord, empower me to bless your kingdom. Your word declares that you will see to the sower. I will give you nothing from my pocket that did not come from my heart. All, right. All I have is yours. And I will honor you with the first fruits. And I will not withhold the tithe. The devourer is rebuked off of my life. I am faithful, productive, and fruitful. Therefore, let your blessings rest on my house. Amen. 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 Now, before we do our tithes, I want to thank you for praying for my father. He did come home at the end of this week. And so we know that God is still in the healing business. Amen. Uh, we continue to pray for all of our sick and shut in uh, on the list. I look at this list. That's a whole lot of people to be sick at home in the hospital, or whatever, but we continue to lift them up. Hope some will be back soon. Amen. Brother uh, Philip Frank was uh, supposed to be moved from ICU um, on Thursday or Friday, but we're praying and for him. Uh, he's been in ICU for several weeks, but we ask that you would keep him in your prayers yes, yes. and continue to keep all of our members in your prayers. Amen. If you have your offering, amen. If you have your offering, Let's hold it up, Look, hold it up, mine somewhere. Lord, we thank you for that which you have given unto us to give today. Pray that you bless the gift in the giver. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people said, amen, 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 amen. Ushers will come, those desire to tithe. We need your offerings, we need your tithes. The church still goes on, amen. Seem like I don't talk about it. Y'all seem to be going down and down. I'm going to start talking about it again. I'm going to keep talking about it. Amen. We have a responsibility to our church yes, because yes. no one is going to do it but us. Amen. Amen. So we ask that you give as God has blessed you to give. Whereas the scripture says, y'all want to argue with the Bible, argue with the Bible. All right. Amen. But give as God has blessed you to give. Amen. Come on. No matter how Just as sure As you are living And the Lord In heaven On earth The more you give The more God will give You can't be God No matter how You can't be God No matter how Just as sure as you are living and the Lord in heaven on high, the more you give, the more God will keep on giving because. No matter how Lord bless this and the gift in Jesus name Amen Amen, amen. Church say amen Amen Ushers, Bonnie or somebody Please pass out these better looking flyers Than what's in the bulletin uh, 
We talking about being five star, and we look like we point five star. <laughs> Amen. Please put those flyers somewhere. Give them to somebody. Put them up somewhere. Advertise your church. Amen. We celebrate four years. Celebrate four years of pastor and people. It's not just our anniversary. It's yours, too, as we celebrate what God is doing in our lives. It's time for amen us to come to the altar amen how many you know god is able amen praise the lord we thank god for pastor hardaway can we just honor him on today amen pastor hardaway he's your pastor but he is my husband amen amen so we're excited excited to celebrate four years and i get an opportunity to represent trinity on next week i do have three tickets for the eastern star ball if you want those tickets and not leave me by myself please see me after service amen right. amen i just need three people i need three people amen i need two people amen two people just to come and go with me and my mother will be here on thursday She's excited to come to Trinity Baptist Church, amen, just to see what God is doing in the lives of her, of her daughter and her son-in-law, amen, hallelujah, it's prayer time, I'm a believer that God does heal because I'm standing here today, amen, amen, so come on to the altar on today, hallelujah, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, hold up Billy, no mercies I see, all I have needed, your hand has provided. Lord, unto thee, amen. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, no mercy I see. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that you are great. I thank you, oh God, that even in my prayer time this morning, you reminded me that your, your great, your faithfulness is so great. So, Father, I thank you right now for being a healer first and foremost. I thank you, oh God, that you have stopped by and you have touched those who needed, God, a touch from you. So, Father, we thank you right now that all power to heal belongs to you. It doesn't belong to the doctors. It doesn't belong to those without power, God, but it all belongs to you. And for that, we are so grateful. So, Father, we thank you. We give you the thanks, the honor, the praise, and the glory because it is due you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who went to the cross for us took all of our pain, all of our baggage, all of our hurt, and paid for it with his life. But it didn't stop there because on the third day, he got up with all power. And now he sits at your right hand, oh God, making intercession for those who need to be interceded for. So we thank you, Jesus, for your blood, your name, and your power. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power. For without you, we can't breathe, we can't move. So we thank you for life. We thank you for you dwelling on the inside of us. Now, God, I pray right now, whatever every ounce of power and every ounce of strength that is within me. I pray, oh God, that you would allow your healing virtue to run through this building like never before. God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would touch, 
I said, touch, God, touch. Touch those who need a touch on the day. God, so many times we get busy doing other things. We get busy doing other people. But God, we want to come to the church and give you an ounce of praise. But I stand here today to say if it had not been for you, oh God, I don't know where or what I would be. I could have been in a crazy house. I could have been in a gutter. I could have been in the street. But somewhere, you reached down and said, not so. So I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Your word says to let everything that have breath praise you, the Lord. God, with breath in my body, I praise you. And I know I'm not the only one here today who going to praise you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, you're soon to come back. You're soon to come back. And you want to find a people who will worship you. You want to find a people who will praise you. God, you didn't make no weak soldiers. You didn't make no tired soldiers. But there's power in you in the name of Jesus. Now, God, breathe on Trinity. God, we need a special touch from you. God, we need you to stop by here. God, somebody came today because they need to hear a word and God I pray that they would get it God you know their story you know what they're wrestling with somebody's getting ready to travel this week and they need you oh God to loose your angels to protect them kids are going to school this week people are going to their jobs this week somebody needs a touch from you in the name of Jesus God should you so allow Oh God, next week God, I know that they coming to celebrate us But I'm coming to celebrate you God, I know, oh God That you are doing everything That you said that you was gonna do Now God, give me the strength Give me the strength, oh God I need preaching power God, I need to be able to stand And I can't stand in my own strength So I pray this week That you would raise up prayer warriors Right? I've been through here in Trinity because I need to proclaim the say of the Lord. When I open up my mouth, let me speak your oracles. Let me speak your mysteries, oh God. Let me tear up the building, oh God, with your word. Let me tear up the building with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I'm not coming in my own strength, but I'm going in yours. I'm going to make the devil out of a liar. He can't have me. Can't have my husband, can't have my family, can't have my church. But what you gave me, it's all for your glory. So I thank you right now for it. Now, God, as my mother travels this week, you put angels on that plane. You help my mama to get here to see her baby in the name of Jesus. Now, God, I need you to touch my husband. Oh, God, I know he's discouraged, but God, I encourage her encourage the man of God you called him to this great work you make the devil out of a liar he is your pastor he is your leader he is your preacher now God you put it within him put it within him put it within him God you told us not to look at their faces I decree and declare the blood of Jesus be up in this place oh God I know they tired I know they tired say I pray too long but I can't wait to get to heaven because I can pray without ceasing so God I thank you right now I'm not going to miss my blessing because somebody got something to do the blood of Jesus be on them because if something happened in a family who they going to call and ask to pray so God I thank you right now for the gift of prayer I thank you right now for what you have given unto me so God by the time I say amen and by the time the benediction is given I pray oh God that the one who wanted you to answer their prayer that you answer their prayer today all those who are sick all those who are shut in all those who need an answer I pray that you would answer it right now and I decree and declare that it's already done come on people of God and put your hands together come on and put your hands together if you believe God go back to your seat praising God if you believe that God did it come on and praise him 
is else to die. He is sovereign. He is just. He is God. So we thank you right now, God, for the answer to the prayer. Come on and put your hands together for the choir as they come. After the choir shall sing, I promise you that if you put your hands together for Pastor Hardaway, that man is going to preach what God has given to him. He's going to preach what God has given to him. So we thank God right now. Come on, choir. So 
My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves him. How many of you love the Lord today? Amen. Amen. Father, we come and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this blessed opportunity that you have blessed us to be here. Pray, God, that you would bless us in our endeavor to do your will. We ask all these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Choir, come on down today. Come on down. I want to look at everybody today. Come on down. Don't they look nice in their choir robes on today? Amen. Amen. Ooh, I guess y'all found out the heat working here too today, huh? <laughs> I swear, y'all freeze in the summer. You gonna burn up in the winter. Amen. God is good. I say God is good. Amen. Um, last week I kind of diverted from speaking to you about the five star church, but I needed to come back around again. Um, and speak to you again um, in case y'all missing the lessons or in case y'all didn't want to get the book so I'm going to bring Bible class to church today amen you can run if you want but you can't hide amen and the problem is that Sometimes we don't want to know different when we need to know different and do different. I want to talk to you um, about the Five Star Church. I'm just going to be a few moments today. Amen. Some funny glory already. Amen. I want to talk to y'all for a few moments so y'all can get quiet. Somebody told me years ago that before your anniversary, you ought not talk about nothing serious because folks are getting mad on your anniversary. But sometimes you just got to talk anyway and let the chips fall where they may. Amen. One thing I never want to be or be deemed as being scared to say what the Lord says. Um, do I care if people are angry or mad? Of course I care. But sometimes I can't stop you from being what you're going to be if you don't like what the truth is. Um, people do. And pe people think I don't know, I don't see, I don't hear. I hear a lot of stuff and see a lot of stuff. And what some people don't understand that even what you don't say, God will sometimes show who he has in leadership. 
Um, I ain't trying to shout nobody today. Um, take your Bibles, go to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1 through 3. You don't have to stand. I just want you to take your Bibles. Go to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1, 2, and 3. Hebrews chapter 6. Chapter 1, 2, and 3. When you have it, say amen. If you don't have it, say wait. All right, hurry up. At least she was honest. Somebody was honest. You say, somebody say, say amen. Everybody go, amen, don't have it. Then they be whispering to somebody, what do you say? What was that scripture? I can't hear. Uh, Hebrews. <laughs> you know I love y'all, right? That's right. You treat somebody you love like you love them, like you know them, right? Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1 through 3. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of of baptism and laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal life. And this will we do if God permits. And this is what we will do if God permits. The first verse says, therefore laying or therefore leaving the principle of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to what's that word? perfection, not laying again the, the foundation of repentance from dead works. Um, in Bible class, we have been looking at the Five Star Church. Chapter 2 is entitled, Dimming Comes to Church. Dimming Comes to Church. And I wanted to talk about a couple of the principles. There's 14 principles which I cannot um, go through. We went through seven. I don't even think I have time for seven. I want to talk to you about a couple of the principles um, I've been, for the last couple of weeks we've been in the chapter and I've been just struggling if I should just deal with this on Sunday and then the Lord said, what are you struggling about? Um, let me help somebody first by telling you who this dimming character is. Uh, a gentleman by the name of W. Edward Dimming, who taught post-World War II organizations about excellence. He talked about excellence. He was actually um, successful after World War II, initially with Japan, when General MacArthur brought him to help revitalize the destroyed country, but later caught on in the United States. His principles dealt with the integrity and how one continues to build and give quality in what they do. And it, unfortunately, churches too often are the last to catch on to anything that might be progressive, or different than what we used to do. We're so much, help me Holy Ghost, trying to be what we were on December 6, 1961. And December 6, 1961 is gone. Help me somebody. I'm going to say that again, 1961 is gone. We live in a different world, trying to do the same things. 
same thing. What we used to do doesn't work like it used to work. And I'm not talking about the word of God because the word of God does not change. But what we do, how you reach children in 1970 is not how you're going to reach children in 2019. Are y'all, y'all hear me? Our children are different. Don't tell me what you did when you was 18. 50 years ago. <laughs> Matter of fact, don't even tell me what you did when you was 30. Some of y'all can't even remember what you did. Because things change. Our children are more... Um, Technical, our babies know how to work a cell phone better than some of y'all. I wish I had a witness here. They take your cell phone and they get on and you're going, what you doing? And you trying to get them to show you what they doing. You get stuck and they say, you know, matter of fact, let me say that and you, and you get stuck and you take it to them for them to figure out what's wrong. I wish I had some witnesses here. They walk around with head buds that ain't even got wires. Y'all don't even, <laughs> y'all scared to use them because you think you're going to get radioactive <laughs> or something. Amen. 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 Y'all know I'm telling the truth, right? And things going to change. Even what we do, even what we do in terms of as we move in life, things are not to change. I remember when I was a little boy, uh, my mother taking a computer class at Bryan and Stratton. Now, I was a little boy way back then. And they used to have these cards. Anybody know what I'm talking about? The cards that went in the computer, and and y'all know what I'm talking about, and they and you know they thought they was doing something, but now we got, you know what, you got computers actually on your phone. You have computers in your car. I was at school the other day. I got there, from Buffalo, you know. Drive Niagara Falls, Buffalo. You got to leave early because school starts early. And I got to school, got to the classroom, and I got a text from my car that said, You have a flat tire. Yeah, and so I went after the class was over, went downstairs, I went outside. And sure enough, I had a flat tire. Y'all ain't used to that stuff. Amen. <laughs> Most of y'all don't know you have a flat tire until you get in the car and start driving. And it goes, boobity, 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 boobity. And you go, I got a flat tire. But times have changed, but yet we want to stay the same. We don't want to catch up. We want to be the last one to do everything. Everything. Everything is going to be the last one. I had some people come to me and they say, we disagree with you having that camera because you make church a show. And I just keep on walking. Because serving Jesus is never a show. And if somebody that we can help sees what's, and can worship with us, then we've done what God has commanded us to do which is to go into ye all the world and to all nations. And he don't tell us how to do it because some of us are just comfortable being on the inside. We ain't never going to testify. We ain't never going to tell. There's some good folks that do testify, but some of us are just content as we are to be here on Sunday morning, go home, and that's it. Till next Sunday morning, and then we the first one say, ain't nobody in church. Must be Reverend Hardaway's fault. Help me, Holy Ghost. Demings comes to church. The 
problem is, let me just say this, that most of us are closed to new, new ideals when they think that everything is okay. Everything is okay with them. Everything is okay. I woke up this morning. I got food on my table. Everything is okay. But what is happening around you in the world? Because we live in a crazy world. I'm so tired of the news. I'm so tired of Washington. I swear. I just, if I could cut it off, it's depressing. My, my alarm on my phone, when it rings, it reads me the news, and I'm going, God, why is it set like this? Because I wake up here in depressing things. Amen. And the fact is that everything is not okay. Deming comes to church, basically is taking his principles and saying that we as a church can do better. Never get stuck thinking that that's it. Never get th stuck saying, well, this is what we did a couple of years ago, and I don't have to do any more. I know some of us are tired. We've been working a long time. We've been doing, we've been in the vineyard for a long time. Did y'all see, somebody see on Facebook that, 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 that joke about the doctor? that told the lady that she needs to start exercising. And she looked back at the doctor and said, Doctor, I've been exercising. That I've been running for Jesus a long time. <laughs> and I'm not tired yet. But we've got to have a mind to serve God. Amen. There were principles that we had looked at Principle one, because I don't want to hold you long, is that we want to be the best we can be, reach our potential, and serve people better and glorify God. Now, three words there. Potential, people, and God. You, we want to reach our potential. We want to be the best that we can be. Be, which means that we give God the best of what we got. Yeah. Used to sing a song, somebody help me here, 99 and a half won't do. It's running trying to make 100. Thank you, Billy. Running trying to make 100. That even 99, some people say, well, I'm, I'm 99. That's not good enough when it comes to serving God. You've got to serve God with everything that you have. All your breath, all your strength, with all your might and with all your mind. Are y'all here with me today? We, we, we got to reach our potential, but then we have to do what? We have to serve people. Why? Because that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to serve one another. Well, you serve people. Well, how do you serve people? Well, let me tell you. You give God the glory. And when you glorify God, God will help you to do and be what you need to be. It takes time. Um, and you have to be intentional and perpetual, which means that you have to make up in your mind that I'm going to serve them. Why is it that we got so many people that just like, ah, oh, they want me to do this? Ah, oh, we got to do this again? Ah, oh. and y'all know I'm right. Oh, yeah. It would be sad if God acted the same way towards us. What if God, every time he blessed us, said, oh, I got to bless them again. Didn't I just bless them last week? Didn't I just bless them yesterday? But you got to be intentional. You got to be, you got to be intentional. You got to make in your mind, I'm going to serve them, that I'm going to do what I can do, and then I got to keep on doing it. 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 How do you get better? You get better because you keep on what? You keep on doing it, right? You don't, you don't, look, you don't go to gym 
like we do on January 1st, and we work out for three days, and then we don't go back until June, what happens? You still out of breath. You still unhealthy, maybe, right? But you got to keep up at it. You got to keep up at it. You got to keep working. You got to keep exercising. You got to keep believing. You got to keep doing the work of God. Because if you don't do it, you might lose something. If you don't do it, you might lose contact with God. That's why every day I got to talk to him. I never want to get to a point in my life that I know somebody that I'm in relationship with that when I talk to them, they go, who are you? Don't laugh, Karen. (laughs) When you are in relationship with somebody, there has to be a continualness in that relationship. Can I get a witness here? I'll be honest, in the morning, we, y'all, y'all think that we all love each other. No, we ain't. We don't even say good morning in the morning. But we know that we're there. Y'all better help me, somebody. Y'all know. <laughs> There's something that lets you know that, 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 that you're there. Can I get a witness? That, that something binds you together. And see, a lot of folks don't need fakeness. They need the real thing. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. So there's got to be there's got to be a time when you, well, if you don't do it the way you used to, how do you do it now? How do you innovate? How do you make something new? How do you stop from? And even if you don't like to do it, don't stop nobody else from doing it. If you don't like the way that it's going now, don't tell nobody else that they need to stop doing it because you don't like it. Don't mess up somebody else's blessing. I wish I had a witness here. I... Preach hard away, preach hard away, preach. But you know, there's some folks that will mess up your blessing trying to keep you from doing something that God has for you. Did y'all hear what I said? There's some people that have been messed up in relationships. That if you're going to be my friend, then you can't be their friend. And therefore, they went the wrong direction and didn't know that the person that they left was the one that God had for them. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful. Be careful. Don't, don't, don't. No, you did that because the pastor did it. You a traitor. I heard that one. That's silly. But that's how people think. You did that because sister so-and-so did it. See, that's her job. You did that. I ain't picking up no paper from the floor. That's why we got a janitor. Walk by stuff on the floor. Don't pick it up. I've walked outside. Not because it was my job, but it's because I cared about what happens around here. Let the church say amen. Amen. Principle number two that Demings gave, and I said it wasn't going to be long, is let's practice what we preach and put thorns in our laurels. Because what are you saying, preacher? What I'm saying is that we tend to rest on the accomplishments of the past. And just because we have been effective in the past does not mean it's going to continue. Thank God for what you've done. Thank God for the blessings. Thank God that you were able to do Going through a catalog to see what you used to do, they want to know what you can do right now. How can you help me? How can you show me the way? What can you do? Practice.
practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. Preach. Practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. What did I just say? Practice what you preach, which means that, that you do what the Bible says, and if this is how you live, and this is how you claim you live, then you ought to treat people in that same way. Don't tell me, try to teach me something, but when I try to do something, you're nasty and mean and don't know how to talk to me. Because of how we talk to one another. We run a whole lot of folks away. The fact is that if somebody talked to you like some folks have talked to other folks, you would have cussed them out and left alone. How much effort does it take to, and I don't care what you in, I don't care who you talking to, I don't care, even if you in a meeting with somebody, there ought to be a Christian demeanor how you act. This ain't the place to gossip about one another, go home and gossip. This ain't the place to bring other folks garbage. Some of us bring garbage to church like it belongs in church, and you need to come down to the This is the church. This is the place where we come to get healing. This is the place. The tears from my eyes. Preach hard away. This is the last sermon I preach. That's all right. I told y'all I ain't no shouting message, didn't I? Y'all got real quiet. I hope some of y'all sweating. Philippians chapter 3, verse 12, verse 13 and 14 says, Not as though... I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow that if that, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am, I am apprehended of Christ. He says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but there's one thing I do, and listen what he says. He says, I'm forgetting those things which are behind me. Did y'all hear what I said? I cannot rest on what I did last week, last year, five years ago, yeah. 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Getting those things I was behind, and he says, I'm reaching forth unto those things which are before me. And I know there's some people here that know what it means to press because you've pressed all your life. You've pressed all your life. You've had to press. He says, I'm pressing toward the... the, the, the Christ. I want the high calling. I want the best. I'm not going through all of this. Towards the mark. I'm pressing towards the mark. I'm moving the best way I can. And sometimes it. keep on pressing, if I keep on going, if I keep on moving, if I am determined to do what got down here. 
I'm not comfortable with folks patting me on my back. I'm not comfortable with folks rubbing me and saying it's going to be all right. I'm not comfortable with folks saying I'm going to walk with you and soon as something happens, they turn their back on you. But I'm trusting in Jesus. I'm moving forward in Christ. I know that if I do what God wants me to do, One more thing, and I'm going. Principle three. Everybody is involved in the ministry. Everybody is involved in the ministry. Everyone should be involved. It's not cliquish in God's church. goes on in the f church and the thing that all of us need to ask this is what the problem is we kind of single ourselves out but the thing is what can we do that the body is made up of many members. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? Body's got some, got what, two hands? Got all of them work together. Nothing works by themselves. What would happen when the feet ran off and left the head? It'd be a messed up body, wouldn't it? What would happen if the, if, 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 if the head It'd be messed up. It'd be messed up. Can I say that again? It would be messed up. But this is the thing. God puts us all together for a reason. Nobody gets the glory but God. Choir comes to praise. Preacher comes to preach. Members come to worship. Ushers come to usher. And you know what? When you come together and you do it together, it becomes a wonderful thing. Yes, it, does. it becomes a glorious thing. I'm going to say that the choir. The choir sings the praises to God. The ushers are ushering in the people of God. People come to worship. We come to preach and we come to pray. Amen. And when we do that, that's what people come to see. People want to see about what's going on, how the Holy Spirit yes. is moving in your church. Yes. They want to see how God is working in your church. Yes. Look, I'm be honest with you, the only folks that, 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 that really interested in telling folks what to do and doing meetings are the folks that have been here forever. Folks don't even want to be bothered with that anymore because they don't want to come to fighting. They don't want to hear no arguments because they believe that's not what the church is about. What they come to church is to worship God. And when you take worship out of, then you don't have a church no more. Amen. Amen. You just got a group of people that come together, that meet every week, and been meeting every week for 52 Sundays out of the year, every, every year. Brings us together to serve God. Like, hold up, I ain't asked for no music. I don't need no music. I want somebody to. I offended you? No, I'm not. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear. No, I'm not. If it ain't you, chew it up, spit it out. But if it is, digest what you need. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in church, Paul said that I've been giving you milk when you need some meat. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we want to just keep drinking, drinking milk out of the bottle. And 
some steak, you want some prime rib, you want some barbecue ribs, you want something that's going to give you what you need. And until we can embrace what it is that God wants us to do, until we can say, God, I'm going to give you all that I can, and I'm going to worship you, I'm going to serve you, then we'll still remain what we are. Amen, Amen church. Amen, church. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Might be somebody by letter of faith candidate for baptism. You ought to come today while you have this chance. Tomorrow's not promised. This day could be your end. He's standing at the door and he's knocking, saying, come just as you are. And I know we have no visitors and no. So the church said, amen. We're going to prepare for our communion at this time. We're going to prepare for our communion. Amen. Amen. Gonna ask the ushers to light candles and we, there's no secret. That's good. Thank you for this day, for this opportunity. We come now asking that you would bless us as we come to remember the reason why we stand at this table. Your shed blood, your broken body for us. We pray, oh God, that you would continue to remember Trinity, remember us to help us to take of this, your Lord's Supper, as you have said in your scripture a right mind and a right heart. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Savior, it 
For I received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you that the same night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. Yes. He said, take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. The Bible says that in the same manner he took the cup. He said, this cup represents the New Testament in my blood. He says, as often as you drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death and his suffering, Paul says, until yes. he shall come. And as we come on today, and as we come to commune that which is, which represents our Lord's body and his blood, we remember the sacrifice that he has made for us. We remember the sacrifice, we remember the love that he had for us. We remember that Paul said but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. But if you know that you have it right with God, if you know that you've got it right with one another, then I encourage you as brothers and sisters in Christ to let us commune together in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Church, say amen. Come on, church, say amen. amen. Say amen again. Y'all letting Billy sing all by himself. Yeah. Everybody quiet. Everybody quiet. Now, let me tell y'all something. Because somebody, the pastor preached something don't mean that he's mad. All right, all right. As much as it means that he just got to preach what the Lord says to all preach. Right. Amen. Amen. So, I'm good. I hope y'all good. Oh, yeah. Hope y'all good because we about to celebrate somebody's birthday. Amen. Amen. So I know Lydia's birthday, you already celebrated it, so we don't have to wish you happy birthday, right? You ain't bring no cake to us. Who else's birthday October? Brother Bonner. Oh, Brother Bonner. It's like that voice in the wilderness way in the back. Hello. Brother Bonner's Hello. birthday. Amen. Bonnie. No. Bonnie. 
Amen. Brother Todd, Brother Todd got the deuces up. It's my birthday. Uh oh, too. Brother Todd, you got a big birthday coming. I know. Amen. I know Sister Todd got some good things coming. Ooh. Sister Todd. <laughs> got arms folded. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, October birthday. Stand up. Wait a come minute. On. Who who else's birthday? So, so Vivian, your birthday over with, but you just had a party yesterday then. You was, okay. We enjoyed Vivian's um, birthday celebration. Can I tell y'all a secret? I'm gonna tell y'all the secret anyway. Cause we were like, we were getting ready to come to the party and I was like, I wonder who cooked. Cause I said, we ain't gonna eat that food cause we don't know who cooked. And we got there and we said, Oh, Trinity to cook today. We about to eat. No, no, I, I right. was so happy. <laughs> Y'all pray. pray my strength. You know, can't take them nowhere. I, I'm telling you, I was happy. I saw them. I said, oh, this chicken good. Because <laughs> we got some good cooks, don't we? Hey, Amen. Y'all give it up for Trinity's <laughs> cooks. Come on. That's that Alabama right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Happy Give them a hand. Amen. Amen. All right. They did that pretty good. Amen. Yeah. Um, anniversaries? Woo! No. Really, it's our pastoral anniversary. Wedding anniversary. Come on. Wedding Let's anniversary. See. It's an anniversary. Back up. Woo! <laughs> wedding anniversaries. Wedding anniversary. No, no, no wedding anniversaries? Any other special days? Woo! Anniversary, pass the heart away. Woo! Right. Reverend Karen, come on, give it up. Woo! All right, stand up, for, stand up for a second. I want you to tell you, this woman been trying to get this robe on for the longest. I was on Facebook yesterday, and she had on this robe with some all-star sneakers. <laughs> I'm so glad she, it was like, she is like she put this robe on yesterday, waiting to get here on the day. I, I saw what Reggie put on it, I was like, Trinity, get ready. Cause she, I was like, you know what, that, she was excited. You ought to be excited, amen. Amen. I said, she probably had that robe at home sleeping in it. <laughs> That's all right, because I know me and Pastor's robe is coming too. Amen. Clergy robes. Gold and black. Amen. Gold and black. Amen. You know what? Go, go take my measurements. Anything? Any, are we missing anything else? Um, well, she already made an announcement about the... See, I look at her and my mind go blank. <laughs> Um, about the Eastern Star, you already mentioned that ticket um, anniversary musicals Musical. on Friday. Yeah, y'all know y'all both the same. Okay, um, we don't know who we got, so whoever we got, we, we do just know have who we have, got. I don't program. know who we got. Amen. Okay, um, <laughs> so we ask that you would please come out. Anything, Vivian, you need to say? No, you good, Vivian? You good? Anything you need to say? I know. Can you hear me now? I love Vivian. I do that to Vivian all the time. That's about it. No? You good? Okay. Peace out. Huh? Come on, Vivian, make the announcement. Come on. Vivian Come is on. the chair for the Yeah, she's going down to my wife. See? Amen. Come on, Vivian. That lady sums. Okay, <laughs> while, while we're doing that, um, morning worship is at 1045. Uh, immediately after service, we'll be eating. Service will actually start at 2 o'clock. 
okay? So we're going to go right into service in that afternoon. Um, and so we uh, won't hold you long. You know that Reverend Daniels is under the weather, kind of. He's sick, but he still wants to come. And, you know, someone said to me, uh, well, you know, he didn't really preach last time he was here. He just talked a few minutes. And I said, that's okay. He's my pastor, and I'm going to honor him to let him do whatever he wants to do. Amen. And, and that's how I do it. So he, he's coming to celebrate the anniversary uh, at 4 o'clock. Those who are not tired, my wife will be preaching at Mount Airy for the Women's Day. Amen. So. <laughs> Sister Jones says she ain't coming till 4 o'clock. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. We go, go. Uh, on, on behalf of the pastor and first lady, just some highlights about the anniversary. On Friday night, we will have uh, Janine Mott. Janine Mott from Buffalo, Twanya Griffin, uh, Geneva Billups, our own choir, and our male chorus. Um, we're ask, and a praise dancer. We're asking each person to give uh, whatever God has laid on your heart. You know, just give, show our pastor and first lady that we do love them. We're asking all auxiliary presidents to get with your auxiliaries and um, also give whatever God has laid on your heart. Let's show them that we love them and show the public that we love our pastor and first lady. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Before we, before we go, no, you, thank you, Vivian. Before we go, can we get Jeff to admit the bills almost pulled that off? Amen. Jeff. 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 Jeff is over Jeff. here. Jeff. Would you, would you admit that the bills beat themselves? <laughs> and that y'all got lucky? And y'all couldn't get any more points than y'all already got on the board because go Bills. <laughs> Jeff is over here patting his foot, Pastor, one more time. Just one more time. He sure is. His feet is patting. Right. <laughs> Let's stand. <laughs> Let's stand. True. Um, pray for our sick and shut in um, Jewel House Trish. You said men coming along. Friday night, men's course? Yes. Okay. okay. Men's, okay. Men's. Men. 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 Everybody, if you just, if you can show up, we would love you. You know we love you. We hope you love us too. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we come and we thank you for this day. We pray for your blessings upon us as we leave this place. Pray that you keep us within your care. Protect us on this week, those things that we might encounter. We thank you for healings. We thank you for joy. We thank you for even new jobs, and new incomes. We give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't forget Sunday school every Sunday morning at 9.30. Barners would love to see you in Sunday school. Bible class is on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Amen. What did I just say? Sunday school, 9.30. Uh, Bible class on Wednesday. Amen. Come on, shake our hands. Oh, and just because y'all didn't shake my hand last week because my wife wasn't here, and I stood down here and nobody came and shook my hand, I'm not going to be down here today. She shake hands. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to shake nobody's hand now. Ooh, I stood down here and looked. They was too busy trying to get their robes and stuff. Somebody, look at, huh? You didn't shake my hand.